I think the Debo game, Bosa said it afterwards, the last thing somebody asked him. He's like, you know, this guy talked what he, he said what he said. Then he walked into a hostile environment and had the game that he had. And what Bosa said is that's what greatness is made of. I mean, Debo had four touches. No, seven touches for 138 yards and three touchdowns. And like splash plays. Not counting all the stuff you ask him to do just in terms of blocking. So, like, for me, the headline of that game was the first two possessions holding the field goals. And then Debo backing it up. You know, we we talk everybody. Feels like he had more, it feels like he had more yards. I would have guessed like 220. <laughs> uh, how many times has somebody asked you, I got this text the other day from somebody, like, pick pick the top five Niners. And it's really hard because you just, you're leaving Kittle or Debo or Purdy. The first list I gave the guy, I'm like, boom, 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 without even thinking. He's like, where's Purdy? I was like, oh, shit. Hold on. Got to do it again, right? And um, depending on the week, like, you could you could ask 10 different people, and they would give you five different orders, and you'd have 10 different – you'd have Trent. Somebody would leave Kittle off. Somebody would – but there are just days where you go, Debo's kind of – I don't know. Sometimes he's at the top of the list, and it felt like against the Eagles was one of those days because of the things that he said, because he talked his shit. And then he backed it up. Yeah, I think that's what makes him a unique player, right? Because I think if you just polled on an after an average game or just during the week, whoever, a football fan, name the five best Niners, most people would not list Debo. He just doesn't. I I, I think immediately Trent, Bosa, go. I, I think Fred Warner is gets said pretty quickly. I think George Kittle. I guess maybe Debo, Christian McCaffrey. I mean, it's, I, I don't think he consistently gets said in the top five, but on any given game, and honestly, on any given stretch of a season, he can be the most dominant player in the league. In the league. Not on the team, like in the league. And that's where I think they have the curveball that like ultimately the Eagles don't have. Because A.J. Brown is an unreal player. I mean, you could argue he's top two or three wide receiver in the league. I think no one would dispute or argue with you. The problem, though, is like Devontae's a good player, but they don't have like th- that pitch. They they don't have. It'd well, be you like, can just get him the ball no matter how you need to do it. You're saying, yeah, he because he turns into he's so easy to get the football. You know, yeah. he, they're missing Goddard, who helps them a lot. Who's there? George Kittle that helps, but like most people, nobody has this right. It's Tyreek has a little bit of that in the bag. You can give it to him on end of rounds. You can Andy historically, Mike McDaniel. So it makes him a double whammy because he can do all the shit down the field. Now, Debo's not a deep threat, but he can dominate over the middle in traffic. And then from quick screens to play running back, the ways that are just 100% layup, whether it's handing him the ball, throwing him the screen to get the ball in his hands. make it, And then he just, the tackles he breaks, how fast he plays. That's the other thing. A lot of guys like him, you know, it was, it was Deshaun Jackson day. Like they, he retired. I think they honored him at halftime. I don't know, you know, is he good enough to have his number retired? I don't know. But he was a really big deal with Philly. <clears throat> Deshaun's play speed, right, is one of the fastest players in the NFL. I mean, he's one of the fastest football players we've ever seen. Just pure speed, Deshaun Jackson, just elite speed. You don't think of Debo like that, like a Tyreek or a Deshaun, right? But who ever catches him? Ever. Like, his play speed is just, and the one thing I always learned in scouting is, like, where you got to be careful of, like, time speed, play speed. Because it was a knock, like why guys like Devontae and Keenan Allen. It's like, well, they've run four seven. Well, I've walked and watch them play. They get open with eat. No one can stay with them. I don't. Debo ran, I think four four eight or whatever. I, I feel like he plays four three zero when he's playing against you. Do you think, or whatever there, your speed is, he can't get caught. Do you feel like it's one thing watching plays faster than Ayuk? Yeah, he he has to be elite at angles. Like, is he? I bet if you put him in a car, like he's just he's very good at changing lanes because his he picks his angles really well. He picks his blocks, where to follow him, where to run by. Because sometimes he'll follow, sometimes he'll run by. Uh, maybe that's part of it, how he plays so fast. It's like, I think he doesn't feel like he ever picks a bad angle. He always picks the most efficient angle. Was that the running back instinct that he has? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's what, what was your take when they kick it off and Debo was returning? It was like, eye-opening. Ah, I oh looked, Debo ah. has six. It was eye-opening. It was like something Harbaugh would do. I look, Debo has six I'm career co- kickoff returns coming into the game. He only he's only he did it once during the regular season. He's done it once in the playoffs. Like, you know, one game he did it twice, one other game he did it like three, four, four times. But when I saw Debo back there to start the game, or you know, I guess on the second kickoff of the game, it, I thought it was a 
I thought it was a statement. Now, on one hand, you'd go, well, you're just down Ray Ray, but you could put Ronnie Ronnie Bell back there if you want to, right? I think most teams would, given you know. I thought it was a, it was a it was a statement to put Debo I, back there. I don't know if anyone said this after the game, but would it shock you if you know, like in basketball, when like a great like Clay goes, I'll check him. Not yeah. nowadays, but in his prime, right. <laughs> you know, or Scottie Pippen or Michael would be like, I want him. When Debo, there's no like, hey Debo, you willing to return? It's like, I'm fucking returning this week. Yeah. Right? yeah, that that was one of the things like in the SEC that made Debo a special player at South Carolina, and honestly, it's what makes him. This is the Deshaun, the Tyreek. Like at any moment, like in a, in a playoff game, would it shock you if you just look up and Tyreek's their punt returner in the in the first round against whoever they're playing? Like, no. I I, I right. want to do this because right. they I'm fucking better than anyone we got, and I, those guys fucking can't stop me. We're not Debo ran. It. Debo ran that ball on that first. It's like, this guy is not messing around. You could yeah. tell in his body language, kick returning in his mind. I think he had dreamed taking one to the house there. I think if you asked him if he could change one of his touchdowns, he would do anything to have a kickoff return. Would he give up two? Would he trade two of his touchdowns for uh, today? I, I, no, I, I think the score? It, I, Absolutely. If the score is the same, 100, that would have been because that is a, that's a knockout blow, right? A punt return or a kickoff return. I feel is worth like 10 points given the momentum of a game. Like, Oh my God, which is because it happens to Shanahan's team so forever. It, it's, it's a kick in the balls. Yeah. And he, he wanted it. And there was one, I thought like he almost kind of broke it. He's made, I mean, would he be the best kick return? Like he'd be like Cordell Patterson. If that was just like his role. He oh, that's all he it. did. He just kick and punt returns. Could you put him on cover too? Just a bowling ball. I feel he plays faster with the ball in his hands than without it. Because isn't that yeah. the knock? Like why he can't? Because if he played as fast some... with the ball in his hands as a wide receiver, wouldn't he be a great go route runner? Right. Yeah. In theory. But I think that goes back to his angles. Like once he's got the ball, he's so good at it's 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 not about straight line, just straight up speed for him. It's about kind of seeing the field in a way that nobody else can see the field. And like you said, also getting tackles. But what well, the the other thing is, every game the Eagles go into. Even this upcoming week, I think CeeDee Lamb's become a star and Brandon Cooks is having a really good season. That Ferguson guy from Wisconsin, Barry Alvarez's grandson, fucking baller. <laughs> they have the better wide receiver duo. In most games, they have like a pretty wide margin. So it's honestly one thing Seattle has in the bag, why they could kind of hang with like the Cowboys last week. It's like we got Jackson Smith, DK, and Lockett. Right. Those two guys, to me, 11 and 19 showed up today. Like we're fucking just as good as your two guys. Yeah, third down and longs, right? Like they they hit the first third down and long to AJ. They had the third and like sixteen where they ran the screen to Devontae Smith. I think it was like eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. I mean Jair was, Alexander, I for, was it Greenlaw took him out in the tackle? Brown or Alexander. No, excuse me, Jair Brown. I'm saying, yeah. So Devontae Smith, as he's getting tackled by yeah. Jair Brown, it was either Greenlaw, might have been Fred, could have been Owen. I don't know who took wiped him out and then Devontae like spun off him <laughs> that can't happen i mean that's but the, the niners do that sometimes right yeah they do third and, third and long third um, and 19 and i feel like he got like 24 third and 19 yeah i mean debo didn't have the kickoff return for the touchdown but the drive after uh greenlaw got ejected and uh security guard dom got ejected and the place was go they, you know they like to me they go tush push Deep into the end zone, there's a fight. Like the place is going ape shit. Uh, Burkhart says nobody has sat down. The Niners get the ball. They're face a third and seven. Purdy hits Ayuk. Debo scores like a, 50, a 48 yard touchdown on on that. Like that wasn't a kickoff return for a touchdown, but that was pretty significant to be able to break off an explosive touchdown in that spot. That was, yeah. you know, really the, the Niners got. This is what Philly does. They will punch you, and they punch the Niners multiple times. And it did not phase him. I and mean, that was a pretty telling thing about, about the game. Do you think IU caught that ball? I Well, no. I thought it was going to get overturned. Yeah. I you understand why it didn't, but I thought it was going to get overturned. Do you know just an awesome, and it sucked when you heard it, but like a moment watching a big football game is when you're on the road and the crowd sees the replay and thinks it's going to get overturned yeah, and they yeah. erupt. It just, it it, it feels like, People were tweeting at me early in the game, like, this is kind of boring. Like, 
I, this is football, like the 14-6, I fucking live for. You, you you can circle jerk your Big 12, your high-scoring games. All you, you give me that game in the first half. I know it eventually became where you're just on the edge of your seat with every play. Like I, that felt like being a kid, 49ers, Cowboys, Cowboys, Packers, Packers, Niners. Like this feels like a big deal. <laughs> you know, obviously it is, but like the game, Burkhart and Olsen are just such an easy listen. I, I know they don't have the star power of Troy Aikman or John Madden, but that they are good. It's just an easy, well, smooth I mean, I, yeah. I, I'm not, I, maybe they're gaining it. I mean, I, again, I like them. I, mean, I know Kevin met him once, but I don't know Greg. I'm just saying, like, they are really good. The chances Tom Brady is as smooth as Greg, I would say, would be highly unlikely. I texted that to somebody today. Um, now, Tom, is Tom ever coming? Probably not. So I care. Yeah, I, but you know what, John? Like, you give it 10, 15 years, they'll feel just as big. You know, you call enough, it'll... It, it, It'll feel mass. It'll feel well, mass. Does, it, it does, does the average, does feel does the average 30 year old? Time. Yeah, does the 100%. I'm not saying does it's aver- not, but the average 30 year old know anything about Chris Collinsworth's playing career, where he played? Where no, he they just know when they hear his voice, it's a big game. That's all. <laughs> yeah. It's really that simple. You know, when people are like, Honestly, when I hear Buck, like, I know it's a big game. It's like, yeah, because for the last 25 years, when you've heard of it, it's been a big game. It's a pretty simple like, formula. 